Welcome back to the channel. And this package has just arrived. It should be from Musician's Friend, but it says Roadrunners. Let me see. Looks like this came from the Guitar Center. So, probably what I'm expecting it to be, but uh, for all the things I've ordered for Musician's Friend over the years. Uh, this is the first time it's come in this exact packaging. But hopefully everything will be as it should be on the inside. I'd say it's very well taped. More so than they usually do. Because this particular guitar might be I think perhaps a Guitar Center Musician's Friend exclusive, at least in the U.S. I'm not positive about that, though. So. It is very well packaged. Okay. We have bubble wrap. We have an inner box. Just off camera, I have an Epiphone dub that is somewhat in the way. Okay. Launch this over here. So, we now have the interior fender box. So again, and I know Guitar Center and Musician's Friend are in many ways the same, not identical uh, in terms of their business relationship because they don't have the same credit card or same sales, but they're basically related companies. Hmm. I'm not doing a very good job of getting these staples out without carrying the box to shreds, unfortunately, but that might just be what it is for this one. But I can say the packing is good. Okay. Well, so far it looks like what it's supposed to be. Have very well packed, I can say that. That's one reason why I do unboxings is to show how well packed things are, especially since I've had an issue with that before. Uh, comes with the standard fender, looks like warranty information, sticker, a couple of adjustment wrenches. And I'm not gonna put on the show of uh, you not knowing what this is supposed to be because I assume you saw the thumbnail when you clicked on it. Got a little bit more tape here. Good packaging makes for a much more strenuous unboxing video. But, ooh, man, that is nice. I was just looking at the threads. This is a Fender limited edition player series as a made in Mexico Telecaster in I think British Racing Green is the color. And as a longtime fan of Top Gear and the Grand Tour, uh, I actually have some appreciation for that beyond just looking nice. And the thing that, other than the color, that is the main draw for this guitar is it features pickups I have wanted to try for ages. Yeah, it's just never quite uh, worked out. The Seymour Duncan quarter pound. These come stock. Let's see. Looking at the guitar, I'll go over the specs in a little more detail later because this is really is just an unboxing. Uh, I actually need to get back to work. I'm like going back uh, from lunch because the UPS man came. I have to see, like I have to check the, hmm, some of the specs because 
I thought these were medium jumbo fresh, but they look big for some reason. What stopped me is there is a little wood imperfection right there. I'll try to get a close up of it later. Can't tell if that's just a chip or what, but otherwise, uh, I've heard Phil McKnight and some people in their videos talk about having quality control issues with fret sprout in Mexican fenders in the last, since COVID basically. This is perfect. I mean, if I closed my eyes and did this and you told me it was a P, an American made PRS, I would believe you. That is fantastic. Frets aren't the most polished, I will say that. Uh, but the fret ends are tremendous. Let's see. Nut looks great right out of the box. Has a pretty good action. Uh, slight up bow in the neck. And again, I'm going to go over all this in more detail. I'm Checking out of the box. Looks like it was made in 2023. It's August 23, 23 right now. Controls feel good. Comes with the more modern six saddle bridge. Yeah, I mean, overall, there. Uh, what I was looking at, there are some, a few very fine, you can probably see my fingerprint. I'm not sure how it's gonna come through on the camera. On the by the control plate, or on the control plate rather, very fine scratches, which you don't like to see. And honestly, now that I think about it, there's no plastic on the pick guard, which makes me, causes me to wonder if this was is a guitar that has been returned perhaps. Not because of any defect, but, or if it was maybe a, now that I think about it, it came from a guitar center, maybe a floor model. It was on sale. I think this guitar, it's a special edition, retails for ten forty nine, I believe, and I got it for an eight ninety nine on sale. So that might be why it came from a guitar center. But, again, those are just very minor points. It's a beautiful guitar. The lighting doesn't necessarily do this color justice. I'll get into some different lighting later. It's just beautiful. And I don't think I've actually had uh, a player series Telecaster. I've had many others. I've had the standard series, obviously. But I don't think I've had just a regular Mexican-made player series. Well, obviously, this has an upgrade, but the pickups are the, and the color are the only things that are upgraded. There's no, like, special... Uh, tuning machines or anything like that. They're the more modern ones here. But the neck feels really nice. So uh, let me get this thing tuned up, take a closer look at it, and get some sounds for you. Okay, let's take a closer look at the limited edition Player Series Telecaster in British Racing Green. The first thing I want to draw your attention to is the Seymour Duncan quarter pound pickups. Those are quarter inch on Nico 5 magnets. That gives it its higher output and fatter sound. Obviously you can't see it, but this is also a quarter pound neck pickup. Of course there is the beautiful color. Various uh, lighting situations really bring out different aspects of it. I really like it a lot. As with the rest of the hardware, it is no different than a standard player series Telecaster, which is excellent. Uh, this is a more modern Telecaster with obviously the six saddle bridge, three-way switch, got your volume and tone controls. Uh, they both have pretty good feel to them. The neck is the lighter neck, which I, I like a dark neck, but this one looks really nice. Get a close up on the frets here. You can see the fret ends are, as I said in the unboxing segment, extremely well dressed. Extremely nice frets. The bone 
synthetic bone rather nut is pretty well cut here you have the more modern the exact names escaping me but these are the I'll call them the pull through and turn tuners not the split top push in vintage tuners which I prefer the vintage tuners but these are perfectly fine nothing wrong with them uh, obviously the neck is maple the body is alder I'll take a look at the back this is a modern C-neck. It really feels great, and I really love the finish on it. Reminds me of my uh, Lead 3, which I think had the same neck. And looks really, really nice. The finish on it is a great shape. It's very... One thing that is... Oh, and I just noticed this. You can tell where the sticker has been to torn off, I believe, because I think that's the don't throw it in the trash sticker. So that gets to my next point, like I mentioned in the unboxing. Uh, this is the day after the guitar arrived. Shortly after I unboxed it, I sent a message to musician's friend customer support saying, hey, I paid for a new guitar this guitar is clearly some type of demo model. You can kind of see it, too, what I was referring to. It's not major at all. It's uh, some fine scratching there on the control panel. And obviously, there would be a player series sticker here, the plastic on the pick guard. So whether this was returned or was like a floor model, because it did come from a guitar center. I can show you that on the box. Um... We'll see what they say, because I really like this guitar a lot, but unless they are willing to do something, I might return it on principle, because if you watched my unboxing video about the player, or rather the classic vibe Telecaster custom baritone that I got from Pro Audio Star that had a pretty good gash in the front of it from shipping, they gave me a substantial refund uh, to keep the guitar. And I thought that more than what I reasonably expected, and that really made me think highly of them. I've been getting things from Musician's Friend for about 20 years off and on, so we'll see what they do. I'm, I'm disappointed that it's been over 24 hours and I haven't heard anything. Uh, I don't really have any specific expectation of them in mind, but again, I have seen online people comment about them passing off slightly used guitars or returned guitars as brand new, and this one definitely is not brand new, though I love it. It's a fantastic guitar, and I hate to have to send it back, but again, on principle, I don't think it's right to pay for full price for what you think is a brand new guitar and be sent what is not a brand new guitar. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that situation develops. And one more thing really quick. I did want to say, and I mentioned this during the unboxing segment, and it does not appear that there's been anything done to this guitar or anything of that nature, but I've heard some people complain about recent quality control in terms of fret sprout from the... In Sonata Factory, it is tremendous on this guitar. And looking at it in close detail, you can, you can, as much as you're able to see, you can see they're very, very well dressed fret ends again. So, but enough of me talking. I'll play you some sound samples. Uh, I'm being very careful with the guitar in case I do end up returning it. But again, I'm waiting on them at this point. So, let's just see what it can do. Okay, let's see how it sounds through a Boss Katana Clean Channel and an SM57. You can see it's a very deep shade of green. Very beautiful. Uh, all depends on how the light hits it, but it looks great. So, all the EQs are on five. That's with the tone and volume both on 10, so it's definitely darker and warmer than a standard Telecaster pickup. Some people might really like. Let's see these. Pretty clearly are. 
our tens on here. But uh, just play a little bit here on the bridge. and some open chords. Neck position. Middle position. And bridge position. Go back to the neck. Play some leads here. Telecaster a pickup set. I mean, as we saw in the close-up, you can tell the quarter-inch magnets visually make a difference. They definitely do sonically as well. So I'm going to uh, turn up the gain and get some more sound samples. <laughs> Let's go to the middle position. A lot warmer and fatter than a standard Telecaster. Now go to the neck. I'm just noodling around getting a feel for these pickups. I've read that they have more of a P90 type sound and I would definitely agree with that. Let's see, there's going to be a lot of low end for this one. Back to the bridge. Okay, going to a Vox AC-10, mic'd with an SM57, EQ's on five, bridge pickup first. <laughs>
Sounds great. Let's try this. position. actually has the most bite. Hmm, interesting. Let's add some gain. Okay, I've kicked on the full tone, full drive, two overdrive, bridge pickup. that these sound rounder probably the best way to put it compared to the Seymour Duncan uh, hot telly pickup in my opinion uh, they definitely do sound more like a P90 uh, than I don't want to say sound more like a P90 than a traditional telly pickup but it sounds more like a P90 than other high output true single coil telly pickups I've played in the past and I've played a lot so and now to the neck Let's just try rolling the tone down about halfway. This is still the neck. All the way up. Excellent pots. Let's do that in the middle position. All the way up. About halfway down. And the bridge. All the way up. Now with gain, that does have more bite in the middle position. Okay, about halfway down. That's one great thing about this guitar and pickups. That is actually a very usable tone control sound. It's not just muffled. Go volume swell. That is fantastic. So let's try with a little bit of fuzz now. Okay, full drive is off the Behringer SF300 Super Fuzz is on. My favorite of the Behringer pedals I've played. Bridge position. I think that sounds fantastic. Middle position. Some 
fuller chords here. <laughs> middle position. Time for my final thoughts. First, I'll take care of this part. I called musician's friend. They acknowledged that this most likely came off the floor of a guitar center. They said that they are supposed to be sending emails in advance to people before they ship them out. Uh, the representative was very kind. He offered a return, and I was getting ready to accept it. Then he said, is there anything else you would be willing to accept? And we agreed upon a $50 rebate. So I paid $8.99 originally before tax for this guitar, and they gave me a $50 rebate since it was not told to me that it was coming off the floor of a guitar center. So be on the lookout for that. If you get something from Musician's Friend and it does not come in the standard packaging, it comes from a guitar center. That There's nothing wrong with this guitar, but it clearly was not new. And as I told the guy on the phone, I said, I know it's not your fault, but someone who wasn't as familiar with buying guitars as me might not realize they're being sold something that's a demo model. And basically, Musicians Friends slash Guitar Center would just be getting away with that. And I didn't like that. But when they were willing to give the $50 discount I agreed to accept it. Now, had there been anything at all wrong with the guitar, substantively, uh, I would have sent it back. And quite frankly, sometimes, just because the whole thing is taking some of the shine off of the new guitar experience, I'm still somewhat tempted to send it back. But then every time I pick it up, it's just such a nice guitar. Which, now we'll get into the guitar itself. Uh, this is a tremendous instrument. Sounds great. The I think for some reason, the Player Series guitars are being unfairly derided in recent times, probably because the price has gone up so much, which it has. And let me say that as nice as this guitar is, for its retail price of $1049, even with it being a special edition color and factory Seymour Duncan installed Seymour Duncan pickups, you could... It is hard to justify that price for it. At 900, I think that it was a uh, reasonable, reasonable deal to have again the pickup stock, and not have to install them yourself. And this uh, beautiful color, you can see just touching at the fingerprints, but they disappear pretty quickly. Uh, again, even though this was a demo model, I have no reason to think anything was done to it in terms of setting it up or polishing the frets or anything because the frets aren't horribly well polished they're not bad but the fret ends were fantastic as i've said multiple times in the video uh, i've heard many youtube channels including some of my favorite ones talk about that being a problem of recent mexican made fenders i've played several and i've never seen that myself so as they say your mileage will vary i think one thing the biggest problem with the Player Series guitars at this particular moment are the classic vibes. Is this overall a higher quality guitar at, and I'll say I think 880 or something like that's the price for a regular Player Series? Yes, it is. The It just feels a little higher quality. The finish feels a little higher quality. They're all poly finishes but it feels a little nicer. But I think what part of the problem is, is they serve different roles. And the more modern features, like the six saddle bridge and the non-vintage tuning machines, a lot of people prefer the vintage, especially on the Telecaster specs. Uh, Stratocaster, I think, 
you'd be more likely to find people that would prefer, for example, two posts as opposed to the six screws on the trim. But people tend to prefer a more traditional Telecaster in my own observation. Though again, like one of my heroes, Bruce Springsteen, plays both six saddles and three saddles, and he usually has six saddles. Uh, each has its advantages and disadvantages. But that being said, I think part of the problem with the player series is not the player series itself, is that the classic vibes are so good and that they're probably specced out to what more people prefer because this is just a fantastic guitar. Great taper on the pots, stays in tune well. Other than things that are clearly just little things from being on a store floor, it, you know, perfect in terms of factory things. Uh, the neck feels fantastic. The finish on the back of the neck is better than the classic vibes. I'm not someone that gets too bent out of shape about the really glossy neck finishes, but this one is much more of a satin feel, and it just feels fantastic. Uh, just a really great guitar, and again, and that's the problem with them. This special edition with Seymour Duncan pickups for eight fifty, given the discount, eight fifty nine hundred. That sounds about right for what all you're getting in this. Ten fifty, you're really starting to push it. You think of other things you could get for that much, and it's really, really becoming hard to justify. Uh, but that said, there are almost always sales going on. The I forget what Fender calls it, but if it was Gibson, be blueberry burst. Like the blueberry burst, uh, maple veneer top one is almost, I'd say, two thirds of the time to three quarters of the time on sale for like six eighty, and that I'm sure a great guitar. Uh, you just have to look for the deals. So, in summation, in and of itself, this is a fantastic guitar. These quarter pounder pickups sound great. I mean, the quarter pounds are, they surprise me. They're much rounder and fuller sounding than what I thought. Uh, they really do sound a lot more like a P90 than the Hot Lead Fratelli uh, bridge pickup uh, in particular, but they sound great. If you're looking for that oomph and uh, don't want to route out your guitar, this might be the way. I'm not saying they sound exactly like P90s, but it's definitely much more of a P90 type sound. Uh, than a traditional Telecaster pickup would get you. And again, this color is absolutely beautiful. Uh, depending on the light, you know, it just, it's a great color. And this is a limited edition. The representative did tell me that one reason they sent me one from a floor was because they didn't have any left in the actual warehouse. So if you're ordering one, it's probably coming from a guitar center. Maybe the back of a guitar center, I don't know, but a guitar center. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're seeing this video not long after it comes out. But again, as for the guitar itself, fantastic. Not a thing at all wrong with it. In fact, it's overall out of the box. Uh, one of the best Telecasters I've ever played, which is one reason why I didn't go back because I just like it so much. But I, again, I, I'm not thrilled with the customer service aspect. That's not something that anyone should have to deal with, but they did try to make it right to their credit. And, uh, and they would have accepted a full return with no questions asked beyond that. So that would say the representative was very kind. So, but again, just be uh, savvy for that type of thing. So if you have any questions, uh, please leave them below. Please like and subscribe. And be on the lookout because there will be a couple videos probably coming up soon featuring uh, this guitar, including, especially now that it is almost to the penny, uh, what the Squire Upgrade Series Telecaster uh, cost overall. There will be a direct comparison between this and that guitar to see uh, which comes out on top. And I also, because at this very moment, though one or two might be leaving in the not horribly distant future, but while I have them all, uh, because again, I pay for all this stuff myself and I love it all, but Sometimes when new things come in, old things have to go out to finance it because uh, I've never had any type of sponsorship. Uh, I'm going, I have the quarter pound Seymour Duncan, the little 59 Seymour Duncan, the hot lead for Telly Seymour Duncan, and the hot rail Seymour Duncan Telecaster bridge pickups. 
So look for, I've done similar tests in the past, but without this. So they're all maple necked. It'll be a great test. I'm trying to think, I think they're all six saddle bridges off the top of my head too. So that should be a great comparison for anyone in the market for a higher output Seymour Duncan Telecaster bridge pickup. But that's in the future. Again, for now, I appreciate you watching the video. And until next time, keep on rocking.